Well, here I am off to work. I'm going for an 18 hour day. Um, normally on Wednesdays, I only go in at midnight and work until 6 a.m. But today I actually got to be there at 11.30 in the morning today and still work until 6 a.m. tomorrow. I got to take over time when it comes, you know, you never know and you can always use a little bit of extra cash around the house. The only problem is, is it keeps Chaslin home alone and, and having to deal with things by herself forever. You know, I got it easy. I'm going to work and being away from the house and I'm going to be you know, doing what I need to do there. She's got to deal with the baby. She's got to deal with the dog. She's got to deal with being home alone overnight. Um, luckily, my sister's there, and that's one of the good pluses of her living with us is that she keeps Chaslin in company, at least, you know, during the times that I'm gone. She doesn't have to spend the whole night by herself, but it's still a lot to deal with, with you know, having to take care of the, the baby. And then if the baby's in a bad mood or she's teething like she was the other day, that's rough on a, on a person to have to deal with that all day long and keep your composure and your patience and that type of thing so hats off to all the stay-at-home mothers or single mothers that have to deal with it by themselves because I can only imagine how difficult it would be I'd go crazy before the end of the day I, I don't know if I'd be I mean I know I could do it I just I don't know if I could do it gracefully I guess the best term. <laughs> but um, I'll be tired so I won't be very much in this vlog because you know, the 18 hours today plus two hours driving back and forth to work because uh, of my commute so long. And then I got to go to work tomorrow again at 6 p.m. So I'll be leaving the house by, I don't know, 3.30. So really, I'll only be at the house during this time from 7 o'clock tomorrow morning until 3.30, most of which I'll be sleeping. I'm sure Chazza will do fine. She, she always does. She keeps it up by herself. And she's a trooper, so... Hopefully, Michaela treats her well too. You gonna dip it? Dip it in the ketchup and mustard. Uh uh. No, don't hold it, but you can dip it. See? Dip. That's not nice. Oh, good dipping. Oh. Shout out to Gabe and Babe TV. Mm. Hi, Juno. I hear you. That was a large piece, Michaelin. One at a time. Excuse me. Hey guys. I know I haven't really been filming much today. Um, just it was a weird day. Very lull, clean up type day. Um, this is for dinner. Guacamole salad with mushrooms and peppers. And uh, julienne zucchini and butter lettuce. And then I decided to have spinach and um, cheese ravioli. That's Miss Moo's. And um, it's pretty much going to be, oh, she has steamed mixed vegetables coming as well. But just really slow day. Probably be a little bit more productive tomorrow. Um, it's going down. Mm -mm. Here's the problem with pasta. Why do you put it in your hair, baby? The dog. Why is it in your hair? Is that why you like it in your hair? Oh. It's all over your face, too. In your shirt. Oh, please don't touch it. Why are you loud? Why? No, okay. Head, head.
head, touching your head, 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 touching your head. That's not funny. Why are you going to underneath the chair? Miss Moo. Why are you underneath the chair like Juno? It's not funny. What if you get stuck? What are you doing? Why are you crying? Because you're tired? <laughs> Mikaelin, wait. You sound tired already. Good morning. We're just trying to eat some breakfast here. She already had a waffle and a banana. Now she's scheming on these boiled eggs. One is for her. One whole egg. But she has to learn how to wait. And then I've got some chopped up peppers. Chopped up peppers and some guacamole. Then I'll give her some yogurt. And hopefully that'll satisfy her until uh, nap time. I'm going to try to see. Hopefully it'll be going down. So apparently we are feeding ourselves yogurt now. I don't want any help from mommy. Let's see how that's going. Mikaelin. Mikaelin. Mm, boy. Ah, the mess is real. Yeah? Are you proud of yourself? Good girl. Mikaelin. Mikaelin. Uh uh, that's way too big. Alright. <laughs> we are at lunch at Fortunato Brothers, which is an Italian eatery uh, in our area. And we're gonna have lunch with Michael's uncle Russ, who works up in Delaware, so kinda good. I haven't seen him in a while. I don't even know when. I wanna say Easter, but I I think it's been longer than that. Um, his son is graduate has already graduated from high school, is going off to college, so they're going through that empty nest syndrome that my parents went through ten years ago. Gosh, it's kind of crazy that his son graduated 10 years after I did. Anyway, it's Miss Moo. So we're back from grabbing lunch. Chaslin is out on her way. <laughs> See, they're falling down. Chaslin's on her way to go grab Mikaelin some extra food, some fruits that she's missing out on, some things like that. Going to Wegmans. Also, I think she just needed a little break. Away from McKaylin for a little while, as you guys know, I worked a lot last night, and I have to head out to work here in another couple of hours too. So I try and do my best to give Chaslin a few breaks to go hang out in the adult world during the day as much as possible, and at the same time keep a sleep schedule that makes it so I don't fall asleep on my commute. Look, we're reading a book. You wanting to read a book? Yeah? Okay, we can do that. And then just sitting here, 
editing for the next one to go up getting prepared for that but yeah it was good seeing my family I haven't gotten to see my uncle in a long time he doesn't we're not able to get together very often with his work schedule my work schedule they live a decent distance away I try and see him whenever I go down to my dad's house but it's not as often as we'd like uh, just because of I don't my normal days off are Sunday Monday Tuesday so I don't really have that traditional weekend that everybody else has off to be able to go and hang out and enjoy our weekend time together I can go on Sunday but I still only get off at 6 a.m. on Sunday, which means that I have to drive to wherever they are, and then they have to go to work the next day, so pretty much I head back that night. So really, we only have Sundays to hang out, and it's only every so often. So it's really good seeing them. Um, my cousin is going off to college, going to pharmacy school, which is neat. Uh, he's going to be moving away from the house and staying on dorms, which is always an adventure for someone fresh out of high school overall great time seeing them good good experience to be able to hang out and just grab a quick bit of lunch mommy just arrived home throwing all the toys that Caitlin tossed over there throwing them at Juno <laughs> no baby they stay in your place then I like them over there though you have a good time at the Wegmans yeah, finally heard that Wiz Khalifa song, Leading Boys. Really? You just heard that? Yeah, that's all the radio is. all the time. I listen to the news. <laughs> I don't listen to Lame. News. I am. Um, can I have that? Mommy, can I have money? Thank you. <laughs> Daddy's the one you ask for money. No. Don't step on Juno. All right, so I'm about to do a little workout. The weather's just been really sketchy looking out here in Baltimore. Sometimes it looks like it wants to rain and it actually doesn't rain. Hey, what you doing? Mm-hmm. And I just got to get my indoor game back on. I was doing Insanity, but I fell off of that. Try to get consistent here. So I am. One moment, and I'll pick you up. So I'm gonna do this five-minute ab workout um, from one of my YouTubers that I follow, Queen D Fitness. Shout out to you. I'm gonna try your five-minute ab workout. Hopefully, this little person doesn't find everything to get into. My goodness. Hopefully I'll feel a burn from that and I'll probably also do a tone your entire body that looks like a six minute workout. So uh, catch you on the other side. This little monster is not letting me do anything. Michaela. She just kept coming, going up, up. It's time to get up. I want to be up. So. I'm going to find a challenge on Insta or Instagram, on Pinterest, a 30-day challenge, a new one, um, something that will tone both my abs and my, you know, like one of those, I don't know what they call it, like gut buns and guns or something to that effect. Um, so just bless you. Those are the problem areas that I want to work on anyway. And then catch some water, do some editing. Hey guys, it's dinner time and my stomach is still a little uneasy from the pizza for lunch earlier. So I figured I'd take it. Michaela, on the other hand, has organic mac and cheese, her chicken patty that most of the time she eats for lunch, and some organic mixed vegetables. My dressing for the salad, I'll put some guacamole on it. Um... I'm just hoping to feel a little bit better. I'll do one more workout. I think uh, Queen D Fitness on YouTube, if you want to subscribe to her. She's a normal mom. She's had two kids. And she's not one of those dick-figured moms out there who's like, oh, you could do it. She's just normal and cool. And even she has to take breaks in the middle of it so you don't feel bad about 
think 10 seconds into her one minute intervals I'm like oh I gotta take a break so it's, it's a really cool channel if you want to check it out and so I'll do one more workout her full body workout and I mean, I'll do a flat twist on my hair because my twist out isn't horrible I just noticed if I because I flat twisted the the front part if I kept it consistent for the whole head I probably would have liked my results a little bit better because my hair is just not as thick as it it used to be um, when I was younger before I put that creamy crack in so still working on it I, I like my regimen <laughs> Oh, would you like some more chicken or some more mac and cheese? So back to what I was saying about my, my natural hair. I'm going to try this new flat twist out and I'll keep it in for uh, probably a few days. So the next set of film that you'll see, I'll probably have my do-rag on like I did for the uh, putting her cupcake room together. Primarily because it, it takes a while for my hair to dry now that I'm in the second year of going natural, but also because I want to make sure it sticks. But I'll keep you updated with the results of that. So I'm about to eat. It's going down. Capuchin pajamas, please. <laughs> please, baby. Can I please put you in pajamas? All set. Let me see, cowgirl. Let me see. Let me see what you look like. Don't you run away. You say no. Okay, so I ended up flat twisting my hair um, all the way around. And then I ended the... I ended it in Bantu knots. Um, if you could tell. And my sister-in-law just came back from... Uh, dinner with her mom because Thursdays they usually try to do something and uh, homegirl got a ninja roll lump crab meat and cream cheese in the middle fresh salmon on top oh just what I needed so good all right gotta finish this so you already know what's going down Thanks for watching The Bachelorette Life. Please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the thumbs up button for likes and share the video with your friends. Bye guys.